All right. So, um, uh, thanks for joining today. Of course, uh, topic is forks, and uh, so I just wanted to uh, kind of slow things down, uh, just really quick, to mention that everything that you eat uh, ultimately is going in your body. Um, when it goes down your throat, you are taking responsibility yourself uh, for ultimately digesting that, the material will be absorbed into your body. So whether you're using forks, uh, spoons, knives, um, what do they call the, uh, you know, at the Chinese buffet, uh, chopsticks, of course, right. Okay, so no matter what you're doing, uh, I just want to say a uh, disclaimer. What you eat is up to you. Be careful what you're doing. Uh, have adult supervision. So let's start it off. Here we go. We got a uh, kind of a classic fork here. This is one that I got at the hardware store. And uh, what I originally went in there looking for was um, toilet bowl cleaner, not the toilet bowl cleaner that um, you know, that you have to physically put into the toilet bowl. What I was looking was uh, more of the kind of, um, you know, like, um, what, the, what I'm saying is one of the bricks um, that you, like, put in the tank. Um, that's aside the point, but I ultimately walked out of there um, with just this. Um, now, this is, if you can see, let's get a good shot of that there real quick. Okay, so what what are exactly are we looking at here? Let's start at this end. <clears throat> you got tines. T-I-N-E-S. The singular is tine. So if you ever uh, experience an injury, it's most likely going to be a tine injury. A singular. One of them might slip, hit, stab. Um, Myself, I've only had one times injury. Um, and similarly, uh, not coincidental, perhaps I do have Lyme's disease too. But here we're, we're starting here, working our way down. This is kind of the mouth part. This is the part where you'll often see food. Um, you'll see spaghetti wrapped around it. You'll see your macaroni and cheese, your ramen noodle. Um, Pretty much, and look at that shine. Look at that shine. This was 50 cents hardware store, right? Now, some of them will have less times. Here, this has pretty classic, pretty classic four. Four times. How many times? Four. Now, you might get three. Working your way back down here, this is what, uh, uh, uh you know, what I'm trying to say is uh, the actual blacksmiths, your um, your silverware creators, sculptors, what they'll call this is the neck. Kind of like in the guitar, right? Working our way forward, this is more the hand part, where you'll often see hands grasping, clutching, However you do it, there's no right way to do it. That's one of the things I really wanted to get across is however you hold your fork, don't let other people judge you. You're just there to get it done, right? You've already chosen the food. You know what you want to do. You're putting it in your mouth. You're, you're chewing with your mouth closed. You're being very appropriate at what you're doing. That's all fine and well. Don't let anyone jump in your way and start telling you how to hold your fork, okay? So let's uh, move on to another one. This is similar to it. This is a different fork. Looks very similar to it. In the comment section, if you see a difference, put it down there, because there is definitely one there, okay? There you go. Just in case you want to stop it, you can go back, look at the other fork. Pretty pretty basic. That's your American. Okay, now we got, here we go. Welcome to picnic time. You got a plastic fork. Everything's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. How's the tensile strength 
on these. I gotta say this is pretty good. Now I've been doing a lot of eating with this uh, fork, this issue plastic fork, and many of it that came in the same bag. Came in a bag of 50. Um, I've been using these on and off now for a couple of days, uh, using them, you know, um, I did uh, spaghetti, I did some macaroni and cheese, um, also did some ramen. Uh, worked okay. Not bad. Let's start let's start at the top here. What are we looking at? Again four times. Pretty classic. Pretty good. You can see there's some ribs here. Now I found my tongue sliding across these a lot. And um, I got a little bit of friction over here from uh, my gums. Um, now my hand down here, passing over, passing over the, the the neck of it here, see that? Pretty smooth, you would think. I had a lot of user difficulty with this. This is not, you know, this is not my first, uh, you know, rodeo. Um, but I gotta say, I definitely would suggest if you're going to eat with a plastic fork. You're going to want to lubricate your mouth with water, another liquid of your choice. It could be milk, it could be soy milk, uh, 1 or 2%. Start it off easy with a watered down milk, milkshake, add some water to that. Whatever it's going to be, that's your choice. But do not let anyone tell you that you can't drink milk, okay? Don't let anyone stop you. That is your choice. Let's move on to another one. Now this is an interesting one here. I'm going to start off a little surprise here. Look at this. Look at this. We got four times again. That's a red fork. Now what we're looking at here is a little bit of a danger. This is a danger to both uh, cheek, your jowls, your um, ham hocks, your tongue, gums, teeth anything in your mouth, uvula, that is going to possibly be punctured, lacerated, cut, it's going to. And let me tell you, my mouth is just in shambles right now because I had some macaroni and cheese earlier today and boy, did I regret it. Now this is a plastic fork here, and let's go down, let's let's work down the neck here. Got a little bit of a got a little bit of a band, a little more flat as usual, and then as we see look at that. The handle again flattens out. And I find this really uncomfortable. Personally, when I grasp and I choose to grasp my forks like this, okay. That's just personally the way I do it, and I can I can do it any way I want. So I don't want to see any comments saying, "Why do you hold your fork like that?" That's not up to you. Um, I really found that the um, it was giving me some tendonitis. Uh, my blisters were acting up. Uh, my bursitis really let me know about it the next day. So. This model here, um, you know, whether it's, you know, me eating like broken glass over here. Wow, look at that. That is no joke there, kids. And then we're coming up here, and you're just thinking, what have I done to deserve this? What, you know, who did I, who did I wrong in this life? You know, it's a... That is really something. Now let's take a look at one last thing here. Now, this fork is user friendly? No. Um, aesthetically pleasing? No. Um, but you know, it's thinking outside the box. When I go to grab, you know, a, a good hefty bite, spoonful, uh, you know, of macaroni and cheese, spaghetti, ramen, whatever, whatever. I'm coming up and I get some purchase with it. 
and I'm, I, you know, it's I. This is what America was built on right here. Look at that. No tines on this one. But look at that. Now, I've been told, I took this to the hardware store and just to kind of see, uh, you know, see what was going on with it, see if they had any ideas. And uh, the woman's name was uh, Karen. She was saying that she guessed it was oak. Now, to my taste, it's more of a, a aspen. But look at that. No markings. Where did it come from? Who made it? No one. No one's really certain. Look at that. Working all the way down here. This is the backbone of America right here. Um, Grand Forks, uh, North Dakota. Um, on their website, you don't see anything like this. But here you go. There you have it. So that's just my first video on uh, on forks uh, right now, but we're going to keep coming at you with some more. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Leave a comment about um, the difference in the forks, okay? Uh, once again, always God bless. Be true to yourself, okay?